Well, helping Indiana's arrested veterans get back on their feet. That's what lawmakers talked about today in a summer study session. News A State House Bureau Chief David Williams just got back from the State House. He's here now to explain, David. Well, Democratic State Rep Carly Macer, who is on that committee, says in Marion County, 20 to 25 Indiana veterans are arrested every week. It's something she and other lawmakers want to help curb. But it's the right thing to do to make sure that we get the treatment for our veterans to prevent them from committing crimes, but also to help them um, in the future. Lawmakers say right now there are 26 veteran courts in Indiana. Today, lawmakers talked about expanding that statewide so arrested veterans go through veterans court instead of regular criminal courts. Lawmakers say Marion County already has a veterans court system and they'd like to model that statewide. It is incredible opportunity for veterans and very similar to a mental health court, a drug treatment court. This is specific to veterans, and it's a it's filled with people who are veterans themselves and, and organizations who can help lift veterans up and who understand the needs that may bring them into the court system. Marcus Murray understands what many veterans go through. He served in the U.S. Air Force for three years. He says some people show red flags before they commit a crime. Suicidal tendencies. Uh, mental issues such as PTSD or TBI or health situations and then you also have financial circumstances. That he says he likes what he heard today but would like to see active duty military members reach out to before it ever gets to that point. I think thinking ahead will help a whole lot more than just trying to catch a person at the end of their service. State Senator Jim Tom says he feels like data sharing between the courts and, say, the Department of Defense could also help before something catastrophic happens. And it will help uh, catch these guys so that uh, they can get the treatment that they need and the care that they need in uh, a quicker fashion. So uh, I, I can see where it would be very beneficial. So we want to know what you think about this. Join the conversation on our website. Just go to wishtv.com and click on this story. I'm David Williams, Wish TV, News 8.